my 2024 Hobonichi setups and flip through. Stay tuned. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as I promised last week I was showing you my Hobonichi weeks and dare I say I think I have found planner piece in my system for 2024. I think I have. So I wanted to show you my Hobonichi Weeks planners and my pen case that's specifically for the Hobonichi Weeks because we all know that this planner has a specific type of paper and I wanted to share what I feel is the best pen and something that I observed in my older Hobonichi Weeks, right? So I just want to talk all the things. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and get into the Hobonichi Weeks. I carry my Hobonichi Weeks in this pouch. I purchased this pouch from an art store or art supply store and I carry sticky notes in here. And it's big enough where I could stick my Hobonichi Weeks and this pouch right in there and then I zip it up and I could literally just take this on the couch with me. So it's very, very simple. And I keep my Hobonichi Weeks on my desk. I keep both of them on my desk. They're just like my happy place right now. And I've been really happy with them and really, really excited. So first things first, I have stickers on my Hobonichi Weeks. I know this is a beautiful cover. And let me tell you, when I opened it and when I was smelling it, I just was in love with this Hobonichi Weeks. Like my husband just really completely threw a curveball when I got them and I ended up switching out that other cover for this one and I thought this was cute I put stickers on it and I'm like you know what this is actually really cute so I opted for this one and at the end of the day when I do archive these two they're pretty small and they don't take up much space I could literally fit I don't know how many in one drawer so for me, I'm just like, you know what? I think I just, I don't know, something about the Hobonichi Weeks always calls me back right now. So I have stickers here. I purchased these stickers from Amazon. And there are some stickers here from Paper Shire that are also included, like this one, that are in here as well. But the pink stickers are from Amazon. Even this little milk like sticker right here is from Amazon. And it's so, so cute, right? I just, I was, I was in love. I just said, I want something to kind of represent me. Like I'm always in sneakers when I'm out with my mom, love strawberries. And my mom and I always love going for coffee or beverages when we're out and about. So I wanted to put that there. I didn't put anything in the back yet, but I do have more stickers coming because I ordered like books from Wildflower Fiction. And I ordered some stickers from her shop. She's a new account on Instagram, small bookshop. Uh, I supported her, and so I'm waiting for those stickers. I have a sticker here with pink, and then I have this from Sweet Freckle Designs, okay, and some latte stickers, and then I just have these, like, little journaling cards and planning with olives, like, laminate, moon laminate that I love. I just have it in there for d decor, really, and I love it. Then on the inside, I have my Megan Rhiannon like gloomy art piece that she has. And I just ended up like cutting it and then pasting it here. This is from Sweet Freckle Designs. I trimmed it down because I like the layering effect of it. That's me always drinking coffee, literally always having coffee with me in the mornings. That's how I like start my day. And then I didn't do anything here. I think the only thing I'm going to track is my paydays and my monthly cycle. That is it. I'm not doing anything else here. And then if it's something pertaining to my son, like when he has off or when he's absent, I'm going to use a specific color. So that is going to be that. And then this, since this area is so small, right? This area is really, really small. I am going to end up just pretty much tracking my YouTube channel throughout the year, my steps walked total for the month, and my weight for the month. It's just to maintain consistency with what I'm doing with walking. And for the past two weeks, I've been feeling really, really just kind of like down, 
exhausted, and then again, just feeling overly tired. So I haven't been walking as much. My walking went down from like five times a week to like three times because I've been so exhausted, like mentally everything, like I'm hitting that burnout moment again and I feel it. And when I do that, I like pull back because I need myself to take care of my parents. There's no other option. So I pull back, right? So I'm going to see how that is affecting me. And then when I feel better, I'll go back to five times. And then this is going to track my mood. I already have my colors here, as you can see. But I have all my colors here for happy, sad, neutral, and upset. So I'm just going to use that to track my emotions each day. And I just have it to four basic. This is going to track appointments, paid days, anything important is going right in here. And I love that because it's super simple. It doesn't have to be like really in depth, you know, planning before I used to put like washi tape and stickers all over. Now I'm just putting what I need to do when the appointment is putting some stickers for something exciting. Like when I got my hobo week, so when my family was over for my birthday weekend, or when there are appointments and things like that, then I might use stickers. But other than that, everything is pretty much pen and just some tiny stickers indicating what type of appointment or purpose is it that I'm writing in these little boxes. So then I'm going to go ahead and flip over to the weeklies. Now, one thing I am using is the Midori clips. I decided to use these because I didn't want to put monthly like tabs in my Hobonichi weeks because when it comes to archiving, I could literally either lay them flat against the wall or I could lay them flat in my drawer like this if I want to, to kind of create more room and then see the year. And I don't have tabs sticking out to kind of prevent that. So here are my weeklies. And let me just tell you, by the way, this is from last year. Hello, love her. These are my weeklies and you know what? I love them. It's very simple. I am not doing any washi tape. I am not decorating with stickers. The only stickers I'm using are on this side, and that is it. I really have just am writing a lot, and I am using, like, stickers minimally and just markers because I don't feel like taking up a lot of space because I need the space for other things, and that's what I'm utilizing it for. So, you know, this was... The week kind of like prior, I, I was jotting down work hours, I was doing my tasks, my tracking, any notes, completely forgot to write my meals, and that's okay. And this is the current week that we are on. I love this so much. For me, it is so functional, it is so useful, and I will tell you something, I had to switch my Uni Jetstream pen because the one I was using, the .38, looked a little lighter and I got a newer pen. And I feel like that pen writes a little blacker. So there's some like writing areas that are like dark black. <laughs> there's other ones that are like kind of like, eh, yeah, it's black. I could still see it. It doesn't matter. And the writing is small. It's for me to see, me to understand. It's legible for me. So it is what it is. And this is my kind of like layout that I'm using. And I like this layout. I am able to track my weather when I worked out. Um... Anything I want to in these boxes here and then my meals are at the bottom because I want to be able to have to write my dinner meal options right across. So for me, this is working. All my main appointments are here or anything I need to pay attention to. All my tasks that are within that specific day are going on this side. Any weekly overall tasks are going here. My weekly habit trackers are here. My inbox. So the most important thing I need to focus on is up top. Then I have my sleep tracker here, indication with the pillow, which is really cute. I like this so much. My steps walk for the week. And then any notes. And then my meals. And I really, really do love this. I think it's so functional. And then in the back, obviously, I can't show you what is completely written in the back, but I can show you something. So here is a pouch that I kind of created using my personal rings planner like envelope that I had purchased and Julie Plan shared this on her channel and I ended up like buying it so go check out either Julie Plan's Instagram and she probably has it linked on our Amazon storefront or there is a video where she shares what's inside her personal rings planner currently that has the same exact thing and I'm just going to show you 
real quick, but it's pretty much this. And what I ended up doing was cutting this side and cutting this side and just kind of making it the width of the Hobodichi Weeks. And basically it's so clear. And I love this because it comes with many. So I could basically stick as much as I want <laughs> in these and throughout the planner. Something personal for me or planner related, I just color code it. And then these are all my bills here, right? And then I have like notes here for the weeklies here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep notes in here. I have like a work tracker there. And then in the back, I have all the appointments that I had in my personal rings planner, but it's coming here. And I literally love this because I already have like the appointments listed. So all I gotta do is just kind of put in like the final in here and then I could basically migrate all the information. So what I did was migrate the information in my personal rings planner and my B6 planner, all the information in both planners and put it into one planner and I am happy because everything now is in here and I absolutely love it. So this is basically my weekly planning system. And then this is going to be my journal. So my media journal, anything journal, it's gonna be like all in here, like my commonplace notebook, but basically for every day. And I cannot wait. I didn't really start writing in this yet because it's gonna take me some time. I kinda wanna backfill it and I don't wanna be in a rush. I wanna put stickers here. I placed the order with high paper clouds for stickers, so I really want to take my time kind of setting this up, but I do have my A6 common planner where I can write things and kind of migrate things over. So these two are going to be it, and I love it so much because it really is reducing the stress. I was a little overwhelmed between, you know, kind of starting my day with this to migrate the information from what I wrote the night before in here, and then finish up throughout the day with this and then go back and backfill here. And some days I didn't get to backfill. Then I kind of stopped tracking what I needed to track because I was tracking too many things. So this is now into one system here. And I love that. I love that for myself. And I think it's great. And like I said, this is going to be common planning, you know, and what I'm going to try to do is probably write like a word or a sentence for what I did that specific day here. And then what I'm gonna do is write the memories here and then maybe like a overall, like commonplace, you know, nerdy note that I love right here on this side with images and pictures. And then any kind of like daily journaling I could end up doing in the back. So I have options or I could daily journal in here and then commonplace in the back where the notes are because I don't technically commonplace every single day. So I'm really, really excited about these two. I'm so happy. And it just was a vibe. It's vibing for me right now. I love the like neutral colorfulness of these stickers and the Two Weeks. And then I ended up getting a phone to match. Like I love this phone. This is from Velvet Caviar. And I purchased it last week. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get me a fun phone case. And I wanted to match like my new planner personality. And that's exactly <laughs> I did so it's matchy matchy right and then the last thing is this pen case so there are a lot of questions about what pen to use what is the best pen to use for Hobonichi Weeks and I will say this when I I recently shredded my old Hobonichi Weeks the only thing I have from 2020 three to 2024 is this planner right here. And this is the pocket moleskin. Okay. So this is the only one that I have now. She's the only survivor. I can always reference back to her if I need something. And this is currently archived in my drawer. She is going to be in storage. So that's what I have. But other than that, I kind of took out all the pages of my old Hobonichis. And I mentioned this on Instagram stories. So if you're not following me on Instagram, maybe you should because I do a lot more stories like explaining things. And I shared while I was flipping through my older pages of the Hobonichi Weeks that my gel ink pen was starting to turn greenish black in my Hobonichi Weeks. And I can tell when I was using a ballpoint pen and when I was using a gel pen for the simple color change. 
And right away, I was like, oh no. If I wanna keep this for years, I do not want my ink turning greenish black and looking, start tarnishing the page and making it look like yellow green. So I am now using a ballpoint pen and that is the only thing I'm using because that is what is recommended with Hobonichi Weeks. So the best pen is the Uni Jetstream 3. This is literally what it's called. It's literally called the Uni Jetstream 3, but my only color of choice is this black color and this is the five millimeter ballpoint pen. Now there's another option here that I'm going to show you. Actually, there's two more options. So the one that I initially bought, oops, was this one. It's the Uni Jetstream 3, the slim version, and it's black, right? Blue is here and red is here. But this is the one that I was saying that it doesn't look like it writes very black. And I want my pen to write very black. So like this right here, it's black, but it's not like what I'm used to with gel pen. And maybe that's what it is. So <laughs> I went ahead and bought the 0.5 and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. It looks darker in some places. So I do see a difference. And for me, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm just going to use the this one now this one like i said is really cute but it may not write as black as you want it to but this is still a uni jet stream pen it doesn't smear you can highlight it anything you want because this pen is great then there's the uni jet stream 3 the same exact one like this except this is a 0.38 you could tell right here 0.38 right and then this is a 0.5 these are the best pens for the Hobonichi Weeks. I do not want to use a fountain pen. I don't want to smear anything. I just want to be able to write in my Hobonichi. My Hobonichi is for functional planning. And even if I'm using it to commonplace or journal, I want a pen that is not going to fade, that is not going to smear, that is not going to cause a shift in color. So if you are someone who's been archiving your planners and using gel pen, go back and look at your old Hobonichis and tell me if you're pages or your pen is doing that because I was using the Pilot Acroball because I got asked that the Pilot Acroball pen and let me tell you I was so like <gasps> I, I I couldn't even keep them I was like oh no so I got this little pen pouch from Amazon and what I have in here is everything that's related to the Hobonichi Weeks I have a tape runner here I have a clear ruler tweezers for my stickers Scissors in case I need to like cut something for my home in each weeks and then a kind of like book clip from Traveler's Notebooks. Oldie but a goodie, but I love this. So she stays. And then my favorite markers for the home in each weeks right now are taking over. It's the mild liners and I got them in the neutral color set. And these are the colors that I am using in my home in each weeks. Okay, these are all the colors. And then, of course, for my Tombow, you've seen these colors plenty of times throughout the years that I've been planning in Hobonichi Weeks, um, 977, 990, and 969. And you know what? It's kind of like a full circle moment because even last year, I was feeling so lost because, again, I was trying every single planner that I wanted to try. I wanted to buy different types of planners. I bought Coil planners last year, a, a Laurel Denise planner. I tried, I think, even an Erin Condren planner. I went back, and I still had the Hobonichi Week. So in the midst of trying everything, I like got overwhelmed, overstimulated, didn't keep up with my Hobonichi Weeks. And this time I said, no, if I'm going to stick with the Hobonichi Weeks, I'm removing every other planner system minus my pocket because this is my wallet. And this has nothing to do with planning. It's literally like a, uh, what is it called? Like an appointment book where if they tell me, hey, like, we need the appointment for, you know, like February, not February, because we're already past February. But let's say they said we need an appointment for like May 31st. I'm just going to write down when the appointment is. It's not to plan. This is not nothing related to planning. It's basically a calendar and everything else that my wallet needs is in here. So this is going strong. It's not going anywhere. So that is pretty much it. That is everything I am using in my Hobonichi Week system. I am really, really happy with it. I know this was a long video, but I think it's 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 really come to full circle, like I said, where I'm truly happy in the system. I wake up excited to plan. I want to plan. I go back in the evening grabbing my planner and then kind of update it right then and there. It's not, 
oh, let me flip from one thing to another. Even though the system works for me, it's still going back and forth. But now I'm really excited and amped. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts in the comments down below. And until the next video, bye.